Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, we live through the night before the men go over the top, on the first day of the Battle of the Somme. Through the night of the 30th of June 1916, there was a flurry of communications up and down the lines. George Coward was a professional soldier in the Royal Engineers at the outbreak of war. He was one of the first servicemen to leave for France in 1914 with the British Expeditionary Force and saw action on the Somme in July 1916. He recalls the night before the infantry attack. We sat all huddled together in this dugout my pal and I taking and sending messages, and their officers talking together about their plans for the morning battle. As the time drew near for the zero hour, which was to be at 7.30am, the officers had some spirits and a jar of rum was opened and served amongst the troops. We few in the HQ dugout had a jar of rum between us, and had me and my chum drunk all that was offered us, we would have died of rum poisoning. As it was, we had a pint enamel cup between two. Rum was never a favourite drink of mine, so I just sipped it to keep the cold out, and my pal had some, for the same reason. Had we drunk it all, I'm afraid very few messages would have been sent by us, and that may have meant disastrous results for the troops going over, and ourselves. I well remember the adjutant picking up a glass of spirit and saying, Here's to the Hun when we meet him in the morning. Well, the night wore on, and near about the time of going over, the colonel and major left the dugout. I have never seen them since, and they were both killed later, I heard. George Coward returned home after the war and became a crane driver for Stothert and Pitt in Bath. He remained active with the Royal British Legion until his death in 1962. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, we have a bird's eye view of the battlefield, half an hour before the infantry goes over the top on the 1st of July 1916.